Hi guys. What do we have today? We have predictions for 5 NBA games for December 13th. So, let's get started. Sacramento Kings and Philadelphia 76ers. The Kings have won 4 of their last 6 games, showing their good recent form. The 76ers are in great form right now, having won 5 of their previous 8 games, and they'll be going for a third consecutive win today. The Kings defense has continued to be a source of concern. They allow the 20th most points per game, have the 24th highest field goal percent, and the league's 19th worst adjusted defensive rating. Their offense was pretty good until a few recent games. The Kings' previous four games, though, have seen them average less than 100 at 10 points per game. With Harden back on the court against the Rockets, the 76ers were more effective and continued to become better with each subsequent game. In the last three games, since Harden's return, the 76ers averaged 129 points per game. From the very beginning of the season, the 76ers were strong on both sides of the court but particularly on defense. They can see the third fewest points per game to their opponents. In the last three games, since Harden's return, the 76ers averaged 129 points per game. Whether or whether Deer and Fox plays for the Kings tonight, anything other than an easy victory for the 76ers who here will come as a complete surprise to me. Play Philadelphia 76ers minus 4.5. Golden State Warriors and Milwaukee Bucks. The Warriors have won six of their past nine games, showing their good form. The Bucks have been in great shape, winning seven of their last nine games, but they played horribly against the Rockets in their most recent contest. The Warriors showed that they can beat anyone when they really want to in their last game against the Celtics, but that was at home. They have been playing better in recent games, but the truth remains that they are not performing well away from home, having won only two road games since the start of the season, and covered the spread in only three of them. The Warriors play the worst defense in the league on the road, allowing 122.8 points per game, but on the other hand, they have the fourth best offense on the road, with 114.8 points per game. Regardless of the statistics, these are most likely the league's two greatest teams. The Bucks are good on both sides of the floor, and this is especially true when they play at home. They have the 10th best defense in the league at home, allowing 108.3 points per game, and the 7th best offense, averaging 117.2 points per game. This game is difficult to predict for the simple fact that if the Warriors want to win here, they will, but it will also depend on how motivated they are. Given that they lost their last two games in Milwaukee by 19 and 39 points, I believe they should be motivated to play well here. I will take the guest team to cover the spread here. Play Golden State Warriors plus 5. Phoenix Suns and Houston Rockets. The Suns are in a funk right now, having lost 5 of their last 6 games overall, and they'll be seeking to snap a 4-game losing run tonight. The Rockets are in good form, having won 3 of their past 5 games. This will be another game without their greatest player for the Suns. They have been playing on win and losing streaks since the beginning of the season, and are presently on a four-loss run. They cannot be said to play the good ball away from home. They only won four of their 12 road games. They have the league's third best road offense, averaging 115 points per game, and the league's 15th best defense, allowing 114.1 points per game. The Rockets are not among the greatest teams in the league, but now they are playing much better basketball than they were earlier in the season. They have won four consecutive home games against the Hawks, Thunder, 76ers, and Bucks. In that four home games, they averaged 112.8 points per game and allowed 106.8 points per game. The Suns are not playing well, and the fact that they have lost four straight games, that Booker will not be on the court today, and that they are playing on the road will not help. They have also allowed their opponents to shoot 51% from the field in the previous four games, which is the worst percentage in the league. The trend supports the Suns. In the previous 34 encounters in Houston, the Suns are 25-9 ATS. I expect a tough and tight game. Although I believe the Suns will win, I think the Rockets will cover the spread. Play Houston Rockets plus 7. New Orleans Pelicans and Utah Jazz. The Pelicans are in great form right now having won 12 of their previous 14 games overall. They'll be going for their 8th straight win today. The Jazz are in a terrible rut right now, having dropped 8 of their previous 11 games, and they'll be looking to end a 2-game losing streak tonight. Yes, the Pelicans have a current record of 9 victories in 10 games, 
but they have played seven of those ten games at home and have two away wins against the weaker Spurs. They are quite as good away from home as they are at home. The Jazz, on the other hand, are fully healthy, they will only be missing Colin Saxton, which is their advantage in my opinion. They haven't been playing very well lately, but they're still considerably better at home. In head-to-head -head betting trends, the Jazz have a 4-1 ATS in the previous five encounters in Salt Lake City. I enjoy how the Pelicans play and want them to win here, but I don't believe it will be easy and if it can happen at all. Here, I will take home team to win, and cover the spread. Play Utah Jazz plus 3. Boston Celtics and Los Angeles Lakers. The Celtics are on a back-to-back. -back. They have been in great form, winning 8 of their previous 11 games, but they will be hoping to avoid a third straight defeat tonight. The Lakers have won 6 of their last 10 games, displaying their recent success. The Lakers were playing well until lately when AD started having back problems again. In their last game, against the Pistons, he was the most effective Laker in the game, playing 36 minutes. I'm not sure how he'll feel today, but only he can change this game in the Lakers' favor. The Lakers struggled to score without him. The Celtics are playing their second game in a row, and third in four nights. They will most likely be tired, but Al Horford and Robert Williams are expected to return for this game. Both are outstanding defensively, and I believe they will easily stop Anthony Davis. If those two are available for the Celtics today, the Lakers' prospects of winning this game are reduced to a hypothesis. Coach Mazzula may rest his best players here. I believe the Celtics have a strong team, even without Brown and Tatum, but if both don't play, I'll skip this game. Keep an eye on the Celtics injury report. Play Boston Celtics minus 3. Guys, that would be all. See you tomorrow.